Let me start by saying that I decided that I would see which would be an easier way to teach you how to fill in your color. To um, fill in the black and brown area around each piece of candy, like where the paper is, and then color in the candy, or the other way around. And I think the other way around is where we'll start. So do as I'm doing right here. I am taking my um, bluer or richer tone um, brown that would be the cooler tone for the dark chocolate and I'm filling in all of the pieces of candy that I had previously marked to fill that in and I want to outline the shape and then fill it in. Now I'm probably going to come back over some of these and layer another color on top of there or smooth it with the tissue paper so that it will have this smooth effect that will look like light is coming on there. But first of all, go ahead and apply your color. Just make sure you're not applying too much pressure and that it's not a real heavy coat of color. Uh, also experiment with different colors of golds and maybe even the peachy apricot colors that you can make a piece of candy that color or you can layer it onto the chocolate that you already, or the brown color that you already have by mixing it or scumbling it to give an interesting light effect because not all chocolate is created the same. Here you can see that I am smoothing, smoothing everything out with my twisted tissue paper and I will oftentimes uh, lift that color up and apply it to another one. I might take some of the darker color from the darker brown and then smear it smear it on the, the milk chocolate one to see how that will mix. I can always take off if it doesn't look good. Once you have your basic color down, then go ahead and pick up your oil pastel again and begin layering another layer of color, choosing wherever your light source is going to be. And here on my box, uh, you can see that the light source would be in the upper left hand corner of this screen. I'm giving a shadow all the way around the box and then I am making the bottom right hand corner of each piece of candy or wherever it happens to fall in the circle. Um, you know a bit of a shadow so that the lighter part is is lighter. Now I've taken black and I might outline the edges of that because I'm going to come around and outline everything with that darker color this layering just helps to bring it to life. Here I'm adding kind of a golden mustardy color um, and I'm curving it where the light source should be. So let's consider that our tint and you'll just see the more that you are layering and smearing and blending a little bit, it will bring your chocolate to life. All right, the next step is to start outlining your chocolates and also the box. And be sure that you are creating a very fine border. Do not take the black um, and, and keep the pink showing between the candy. Just outline each piece and then outline or fill in it in between each piece, but not very, very heavy because black is such a heavy pigment, it doesn't take a lot. You're going to layer. A brown on top that's what I'm doing here now so I'm layering brown and then I'll come back and smooth everything out it takes some time you can use either your tissue paper or to uh, I'm sorry q-tips that might make it easier and you'll see it'll smear a little bit into the chocolate but that helps to add to the dimension of the chocolate Now I'm going to start coloring my specialty heart candy in the center of the box and I've layered in some red and I'll smooth that out. I might add some magenta to um, add that pink quality with a bit of a reflection. I kind of play with this and um, remove some of the wax and then add a lighter pink and you'll see it the more you play with it, um, you know, it'll dictate to you if you like it or not and if you don't like the layering, Take your tissue paper and gently rub it so that it will come off. Also, don't forget to add the pops of white that will give it the 
the tint that will make it look like a light source. Now I'm going to add an interesting color here. You don't really expect to see this kind of color in a box of chocolates. Uh, it could be that brittle color that the artist Sari uh, Shryak was telling us about. And you'll see I added some peachy, kind of a peachy color in there as well to give it the tints that it needs. It just adds interest to the box. You don't want them all looking the same. Notice that I have the shades on the bottom side and the bottom right side. It's kind of fun to go around with your whites after you have layered color and give an outline to the, the chocolate, not completely all the way around, but giving it that shape and then smearing it a little bit and then come back with that pop of white. And on the darker pieces of candy, add a darker, um, either black or the very darker brown to, again, add depth. And then you want to come back with your, your tint color which might be white or it might be the, the caramel color that we've seen in there as well. All right, so on this one, I'm adding more black and I'm gonna go back and outline everything in the box with the black, but here is going to be kind of the shadow of that drizzled um, icing, I guess you could say, on top of the candy. And now with a piece of gray oil pastel, I am zigzagging around each piece of candy to be the wrapper. You need to do that to each and every piece that you have there. And then you can come back and continue adding the details to the candy um, so that you can see the light source and everything else. I do want to remind you that in order to clean your hands, you really have to take the wipe and wipe your hands, your fingers, and under your fingernails really, really well to get rid of the oil pastels.